players don't really understand when they are changing direction and most of the time they don't even realize they're doing it so a simple strategy can really help improve that game and that's what we're going to talk about now Hi guys, Sandy from The Paddle School here. In today's video, we're gonna talk about a tactic that is often the problem for players when they're at net, and that is changing direction. Like this is something that players often do at the wrong times. So in this video, we're gonna discuss when you should be changing direction, and also give you a simple strategy that you can use in your matches to make sure you're making good tactical decisions. So if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and I really hope that all of our content will help you be a better player. If you're a long-term subscriber, let us know down in the comments how we've helped you or what we can do in the future to help you become a better player. So when we talk about changing direction, this is something that we discuss a lot in our tactics course, but we're talking about when you go to one corner, for example, if you serve into the corner, the right-hand corner, and you and your partner line up, for the ball in that corner. When you change direction, we're talking about volleying into the other corner. That's what we mean when we're saying changing direction, yeah? So if you're at net, it's mainly when you're at net, but you can also do it at the back, but it's mainly when you go from hitting the ball to one corner to changing to the other corner. And there are three main reasons that you don't want to do that at the wrong time. The first thing is that it's forcing you to open gaps on your side of the court. So for example, if I change direction and I'm gone from covering the middle on the left side, I now have to move across and to cover the line. Yeah, so that's the first. The second is often you put a player under pressure at the back of the court and when you change direction, you kind of let them out, you let them get back into the game. And the third is that you become unpredictable to your partner. So once you move across, your partner doesn't know what you're doing and therefore you end up in trouble as a pair. So as a general rule, and this is 90% of the play, not 100% of the play, but as a general rule, you want to change direction on an easy ball. Yeah, so if you're in one corner and you get an easy ball and you can be aggressive, that is the time that you should be changing direction. Now, there are exceptions. For example, if I'm covering the middle like this and the player on the diagonal hits a low angle Chiquita down to this corner, then it is more sensible for me to play that down the line and change direction. The other times are if you know you get certain situations like high backhand volleys and things like that, you would want to maybe change direction depending on the play, but 90% of the time you will change direction on a ball that is easy and therefore gives you and your partner time to change and also can put the other opponent under pressure straight away. So another common time to change direction is obviously when the ball comes down the middle. For example, if we're playing into that right corner there and it comes down the middle and I'm in this position, it makes more sense for me to hit on my open side into the other corner and therefore we change because I'm already in the correct position and only my partner needs to move across. If I were to go back, then it means that we've both got to move back and it's a difficult shot for me and opens up the gap for my opponent down the line. So a really good tactic for this is, and you can do this as a training drill if there's you know, four of you on the court, or you can do this as part of your match, is to say to yourself, right, I'm only going to hit, me and my partner are only going to hit into one corner, yeah? And when we change direction, it is to try and finish the point, yeah? So the way to do that is if we're playing points, for example, my partner's at net, I might serve into the right-hand corner, and we're going to say, right, we're going to hit everything back to that corner, every single shot, until we get an easy ball and then we attack to the other side. And you will find that you will win so many points like this because you're putting that right court person under pressure, the left court person is getting a little bit cold and then suddenly you give him an aggressive ball or her an aggressive ball and they find it very difficult to defend. And then when it comes to the other side, so you're gonna serve from the left hand side, you do the same but this time to the person in the left hand court. So we're not putting a player in the fridge um, for the match, we're just doing it for that specific point and only changing direction when you've got an easy ball and you think that you can almost finish the point. So this is one of the many tactics that we cover in our tactics course. We explain how you should be kind of playing certain types of opponent, how to play with your partner, how to analyze the weaknesses of your opponents. And at the moment, we're doing a really good offer for access to all of our content, which obviously includes the tactics course. So I'll put both the tactics course and the Paddle School Plus, which is our community, down below, links down below. So if you're interested in improving your game and taking it to the next level, you will find all of the information there.